tell us what what needs fixing here what's wrong so the second toes is uh, some fixing there what i can't i don't have the movement right so i can't do the plugs and i can't put it high heels anymore all right and you showed me over there you showed me something with the feet where you can so see all the you can all the see lines. all the lines here yeah. but here is a lamp oh it's yeah. like a lamp but you can yeah. see this very but that is the the pain it's here yeah. and uh, all right, and it's been like that for how long? A year and a half. Right, and you've tried, you've been to a doctor? Two doctors, and one definitely want to do the operation. The second one can't find it anything, but he said we're gonna monitoring to see what is going there. All right, okay. Right, so if we got that fixed, the pain would go, and you'd be able to do a plank? Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I see. So I'm just saying a prayer for Tony. All right, all healing comes from God. And when I was little, my grandma told me that God was everywhere and God was invisible. Now my grandma wasn't a church going woman, but she considered that God was everywhere and God was invisible. And now I'm on the spiritual journey that I'm on, it sort of makes sense. If we bring our awareness into this room, there's a lot of space in this room. We can't see the space. We can be aware of it. We can only see the things. All the things are finite. They have three dimensions, height, width, and depth. But the things couldn't exist without the space that allows them to be. You could remove all the objects from this room, but you can't remove the space. Now, when we close our eyes, just try closing your eyes. Let your awareness be aware of the space in the room, notice how it feels, and then let your awareness be aware of how you feel on the inside of your body. You don't feel like a skeleton, a pair of lungs, a beating heart, a blood circulation system. When I notice how the space in the room feels, and then I notice how the space inside of me feels, there's not a lot different. When I close my eyes, I feel like I am space. So if God is present everywhere, omnipresent, omnipotent, as we're told, and God is invisible, it stands to reason that God is in the space. So we're all sat in God, and when we close our eyes, what have we got inside us? All God. Wherever I go, I'm always in God. I can't be separate from God. Now that means that what connects you and I is, is God, the space. Now it's interesting that they're choosing to work on Tony's head. They're not going anywhere near the feet, apparently. Not yet anyway. They're working on the left brain. So sometimes what happens within this system is there's a thought in our head it triggers a feeling in our body. Let me give you an example. Close your eyes and imagine that you're checking your lotto ticket. You've got four numbers in your life. Oh, wow, that'll be 50 quid. <laughs> and then a fifth number comes up and your, your heart is racing because, wow, that's gonna make a decent chunk off the mortgage. And then you get six numbers and you cannot believe it. You know, you're like, have the kids tricked me? Is it a video? Have they, have they, have they given me a dodgy ticket? What is it? But no, it's looking real. It's looking like you've actually won the lotto and it's eight million pounds and you're so excited. See how a thought, even if it's an imagined thought, can get your heart racing and get feelings of excitement. And it's the same with the negative stuff. If I get you to imagine yourself sat on the M25 in traffic, or the mother-in-law's coming to stay, yeah, you can affect yourself very, very quickly with chemicals. And the way I see it is this, I am a chemical factory. And I've just got good this lifetime at having the thoughts and the beliefs that allow my body to provide, to produce feel-good chemicals more of the time. So then I don't need things like alcohol and cigarettes and drugs to keep me feeling good because I've learned to do that with my own disciplined mind and my own spiritual practices. And increasingly in our society, we're going to see people turning away from the addictive substances, from the pr 
processed, heavily processed foods that are full of sugar and salt and nasty stuff into making healthier choices and they're going to take mastery of these chemical factories for themselves. Now, Tony, what was happening for you? Any sensation? Nothing yet? Mm -hmm. Let's just see what's happening with your toe if there's anything different. So you can start seeing a little bit the line here. A little bit of the line there. Yeah. Now, is there any pain in there? Is there still pain in there? Softer. It's, pain. it's got softer. Right, okay. So now I'm going to work uh, yeah. on it the toes. You find the blockage there. Yeah, cool. Right. Now, uh, what happens within these bodies? So there's a thought in your head and then there's a response to that thought. It's like a reflection in your body and it's chemicals, it's feelings. So if the thought is good for you, you'll get feel good feelings like uh, endorphins, serotonin. But if the feeling isn't a good one for you, then you'll get more negative feelings like cortisol, chemicals uh, and adrenaline. Now, different tissues in your body process different feelings. How do I know this? When you feel love, where do you feel it? Here? That's where the love emanates out of your body from. When you feel fear, where do you feel it? Yeah, deep, lower down, yeah? Okay, when you are shouldering a burden, you'll feel it in your shoulders. Elbows tend to be work stuff. Now the toes, toes are worries about detail. The left foot is to do with the past, so the left side of the body is to do with the past, the right side is to do with the future. So this is you worrying about detail. Does that sound like you? Okay. Now, let's have a look at what a worry is. A worry is uh, a negative prayer that you do in your head. Would you want to do a negative prayer? No. No. That's one way to stop people worrying, is to bring into their awareness that worries are negative prayers. It's a negative prayer. You're thinking about what you don't want to happen. Yeah. Now, one of the fastest ways to stop worrying is to bring your awareness from your head into your heart center. You don't worry when you're in here. You only worry when you're in there. This is the cause of most of humanity's problems, individually and collectively. In fact, the smarter some people think they are, the more intelligent they think they are, sometimes the dumber the decisions they make. Have you noticed that? Yeah? So there's wisdom and there's intelligence, yeah? And at the moment, our technology, our technological wisdom has outrun our wisdom, a technological wizardry has outrun our wisdom as we see with the 5G. 4G is bad enough, we don't want 5G. What the surgeon's doing while he's working is also wiggling my toes on the opposite foot, not the same foot as Tony, but he's wiggling my toes there to help me feel how that feels. It's a bit like having a pee, a, a pee, like a green pee, not pee when you go trip to the bathroom. A green pee in there. Just walk around a little bit for me and just notice how that feels. Bit there. It's so a little bit there. Like a pee, like a little pee. Yeah. There we go. So we'll turn it into a baby pee. No, I'm kidding. What? <laughs> so we'll turn it into a baby pee. Yeah. Petit <laughs> There we go. All right. So these are our bodies. They respond to our thoughts. They respond to what we eat. I've been working as a healer for 25 years. And uh, one of the things that stands out, like I don't know what, is there is a correlation between our health and what we eat. Yeah. Yeah, so if you want to be healthy, eat healthy foods. If you want to be sick, eat processed foods, fish and chips, pies, pizzas. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to manifest ill health for yourself in the future, eat, eat rubbish and your health will be rubbish. It's very hard, if, you know, if you've got any kind of fitness regime, positive thinking, but you're putting in rubbish, it's not gonna work, is it? So if you wanna be healthy, you've gotta eat better. 
And as a society, we need better food choices. Yeah, in restaurants, cafes, school lunch boxes, we need we need better food choices. It's very, very simple. This this little organism that we live in is very, very simple. When you're hungry, eat. But eat nutritious food that feels alive, that is how nature grew it for you. Drink water before you get thirsty. By the time you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated. Sleep when you're tired. Rest when you need a rest. Exercise when you feel sluggish. You know when you're feeling sluggish. When you're feeling sluggish, go out for a walk. If you haven't got a dog, walk somebody else's dog. E right, another walk around, Tony. You're looking surprised, but is that good? Definitely better. Cool. Do you want to try a plank? Yeah, let's try a plank. Yeah, let's try a plank. You're bigger for the camera. It is better. It's still a little, small, small. Still a little bit. Right, come on, back here then. Let's get that little small, small bit. Far, far, far. Cool. See, sometimes more serious things can take minutes. What you think must be a tiny, 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 tiny thing takes longer. And that's okay, it just is what it is, God bless. All right, it, what it is is there's not quite enough energy in there. They need to get a little bit more energy in there. God bless. There we go. All right, now I'm feeling that in my left wrist, so it's letting me know what's stuck in there. God bless. What's the sensation for you? Any sensation in your foot? Any? Like needles. Like needles, yeah. yeah. Cool. There we go. So this kind of healing is very, very easy to learn how to do because you're not the doer, you are the instrument. You just learn to quiet the mind, nice and still, and then to surrender to a higher power, allowing the spirit doctors to work through you. And the results speak for themselves and there aren't really any side effects, not adverse side effects like you get with pharmaceutical drugs. So this is the medicine of the future. E but it is also the medicine of the past. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's how we used to heal ourselves. Within our tribes, within our communities, there were always medicine men or women that had the knowledge of how to tune in to the body. We've just forgotten. E walk around, see how that feels. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> yes.